Hey guys, so it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I am making a video today that is a little bit different from normal. Um, and I've moved location, as you may have noticed. I um, have been fed up of the fact that I haven't been able to work out a way to factor in all of my lovely stuff going on over there because normally I film where the computer is um, because that's just the easiest place to put the camera um, but obviously that area there makes the nicest thing to look at behind me um, so I decided that um, I would try and spend some time work out how to do the setup so that I could keep that in um, this video was supposed to be on the 1st of December because it was supposed to be the first video of Vlogmas but I have um, I've had tonsillitis and I still sound like I've kind of got my mouth full a little bit but I thought as I'm feeling a lot better than I did over the last few days I would just take it, go for it and make the video so this video is a little bit strange it's kind of like a haul video and it's kind of like a favorites but then the favorites part isn't from like the last month or whatever it's just from whenever really from like what i actually just really enjoy all the time um or just recently so it's not really time, it's, it's really a, a little bit looser than a monthly favourites and it's not really a haul video either, it's just kind of a bunch of stuff that I've got sat next to me on the bed that I like, basically. So, shall we get started? Okay, right, the first item I have been loving recently is this, which is my hot water bottle. Um, it is furry and fluffy and it's like two dual fibre so it just looks really cute um, and yeah basically it's been on it, it's on my bed all year round it made it like a decoration makes it look really cosy and the uh, like the other week I just thought to myself oh I need something to just warm me up and I thought don't you have a hot water bottle yeah I do where is it it's right there on the bed every single day I make my bed and there it is and I never really kind of made the connection with the fact that it's actually a functioning hot water bottle and not just the decoration but since I made that connection I have been loving this so much it's a must have you must have a hot water bottle for the winter um, the next thing um, is another kind of wintry snuggly up type thing um, and it is this which is my Costa cup, which actually does have drink in it right now, so I suppose I better. Yep, that's so good. So, this is just your average Costa cup, it's the normal design, like not any like Christmassy design or anything like that, only because I feel like I want, like I've been in Costa in Loughborough Town um, a couple of times where since they've got the Christmas stuff going on. And the Christmas cups, like the takeaway ones, the reusable ones, are lovely, but I literally, I literally, I just don't think I would use it um, enough to warrant buying one only for December and then packing it away and not using it. If I was going to buy a really nice one, I want to use it all the time, and obviously if I'm using a Christmas cup in July, everyone's going to be like, what the hell are you doing? So, that's why I like this one just because it is actually functional for all year round no one's gonna think why is she looking forward to christmas in the middle of july um and yeah it's pretty good this one um the next thing um i would say is kind of like something that everyone like my age can really relate to um I was in the shop the other day, well not the other day, I've had this for a good few weeks now, and I just picked this up because I thought, oh my god, I want it because I remember them, and then I, and I, I just have it. So it's one of, it's one of these guys, it's a, <laughs> it's an alien, um, the appeal for me with the alien is the fact that like, I remember when I was younger, everyone like trying to get them to breed. 
and there were rumours about you had to put them in the fridge, you had to keep them in the dark, you have to, like, whatever you had to do to them to make them breed or whatever. Um, and they don't, they don't do it. <laughs> They're just pieces of plastic. They don't create new pieces of plastic. It was just a thing. Everyone would buy them. That was the way people got that got you to buy them was the fact that oh, I'm just playing with it so much right now <laughs> it's just the fact that they apparently breed but they don't obviously my appeal with it now is just the fact that I just remember having one or like loads and everyone had them and just the fact that it's so like therapeutic to play with it and I I don't know I don't know about anyone else but the kind of smell that it leaves behind on your hands and the smell when you're playing with it is it's actually really not I really enjoy the smell I think it's quite odd it's like it's the same type of smell I reckon if you enjoy the smell of petrol in a petrol station you would enjoy the smell of this in your hands I think that's the kind of thing that's going on anyway with that so that's the little alien egg thing the next thing is a little bit different. Um, I was in WH Smith getting some folders and bits and I picked myself up a adult colouring book because everyone loves colouring in and stuff like that but also I just I flicked through a couple of these different books because I wanted one of these anyway it just passes the time and also I find that if you're in a meeting or whatever a meeting like as if I'm ever in a meeting but if you're like doing something like if you're in a lecture or in a meeting or just kind of having to concentrate at something um, and you're the type of person that needs to be doing something else I feel like colouring in is like a really good thing to be doing while like doing one of those things um so i got this only because some of the designs in here are like really really lovely so there's there's one i really like particularly that page there um and then they have some like really complex ones that are just really really nice the good thing about this book is it is um it is mirrored so both pages so like say this page here i'm gonna go for that page there and then you um turn it over and that is the mirrored version of it so you, if you're using like an alcohol marker or a permanent marker or something like that um when it goes if it goes through the page you're coloring in both pages at the same time which is actually really really funky because then like you get two different effects to it I'll show you an example of where I've done it so here is the page that I actually colored in with the birds um, and obviously it's quite dark and quite like you can you can see how like it's quite dark and the colors are quite similar but then you um, you turn the page to where it bled through. It's a lot more lighter, brighter, kind of a different atmosphere about it. And also the colours are a lot more distinguishable from each other. I really love that about this book, just the fact that they are mirrored pages. And also just the fact that you can do, if, it, if you're not using a pen that's going to bleed through the page, um, you can just do the same colouring in twice, but you can do it a different way the second time. You can be like... You know how if you're doing a colour and you'll be like, I want to know what that will look like with that colour, but then if I don't like it, I've ruined it. But with this, you get two of every design, so you can colour it in how you want the first time and then how you think it should be the second time, which is awesome. This is the trouble, people, of putting effort into your background and then your TV goes blue. Okay, what is the next item on my agenda? Oh, this one is so trivial and childish. Basically, I don't know if anyone will have noticed, if you order anything with inside the UK and it comes with what's supposedly bubble wrap, it now no longer comes with bubble wrap but comes with air pouches, which are these massive pockets of air because apparently that's safer. Um, basically, um, obviously this isn't the case for different countries so when i got a package it arrived and um it came with bubble wrap so this is the sheet of bubble wrap that i'm loving um because i haven't popped any of it yet because i was saving it for this video 
Um, basically, they're really big bubbles, but they're not like the ridiculous air packet things that you get in nowadays. Now are because they changed the rules about bubble wrap, but they're not the really tiny ones either. So they're actually like really good. So you're gonna know if you've popped them all or not. And I feel like we should do the first few together because I love bubble wrap like this. It's so therapeutic. Oh my goodness. This just makes me feel so happy and I'm so glad. I'm actually really glad that I've, I've almost popped this whole sheet a couple of times already in the last day. But I've made myself wait until I film the video. Oh, some of these are so satisfying. Oh, that one was, that one was so good. Um, yeah, anyway, moving swiftly on from the bubble wrap. Right, the next thing is actually really quite exciting. This is a um, little leather thing for my camera. Um, half of it is not actually here because it's actually around the base of the camera as it is. Sorry, if you're in here, who's in the bathroom? I don't know. There's no one else in our flat. So the way it works is this bit here is a the bit that protects the lens area. Um, and it like poppers here look so that like folds out so you can get the camera in it and then you like close the popper and then there's one on the other side there like oh if i could do it like so um and that bit's the top you know where the flash bit is that area there um and this area is the back with the screen and such and that like that bit then attaches to the the base area and the base area is still on the camera at the moment because it has a little screw thing that screws into the area where the tripod goes which attaches the little lever thing to the camera on a permanent basis and then this bit this whole little bit that assembles with poppers just poppers on to the base part here it poppers on and here it poppers on so then it's a completed leather cover for the camera um, and it's actually really lovely and it looks lovely on the camera as well but the um, the cover on the camera the little leather bit around the edge and the base makes it just look so really nice so that's the leather sh camera case shape the next item is actually really related to that. Uh, I kind of went all out on like leather accessories, but for my camera, but yeah. So this is a actual like camera bag. I got this only because um, the bag that came in the bundle with the camera only accommodates the camera, the main camera, and not the lens, but it doesn't come with anything to put the lens in. So basically, if you want to store the camera in a safe way, you have to take the lens off and carry the lens just loose randomly. I feel like the, the lens is more delicate than the actual main camera is. So I got this, um, which is just a camera bag. I feel, I feel like it's really lovely just because um, I can use it, I can walk around, but not feel like I am a tourist, like, because obviously you see a camera bag normally and you, you recognise it as a camera bag and think, oh yeah, they're <laughs> like touristy, but they, like using like leather like this makes it look even, like, just looks nice and professional, even if it's completely not professional in the slightest, it just makes it look it, um, which is really nice. Um, the other thing I love about this is the fact that the there's this lining in it so it is protective like a camera bag but the lining slides straight out so you could just use it as anything else if you wanted to it doesn't have to be a camera bag um the lining goes in and there's another piece um just here with velcro on the edges and you put that in and you can put it in at any stage that you want to and it makes a partition to keep things separate and in the front here it has a little a little bit at the front as well with a popper um, that just keeps any extra loose bits safe um, and I just think that whole thing is really lovely so that's that other leather item that I'm really enjoying right the next thing is for adults only I'm afraid 
but you can still you can still watch but I, I i can't recommend it to anyone who isn't an adult i'm afraid but that is bailey's um bailey's this one actually is bailey's chocolate luxe which is chocolate basic bailey's basically um, because in the shop they didn't have any normal Baileys, so I just bought this one. The reason I'm so in love with Baileys at the moment is because um, it was introduced to me that Baileys and chocolate milk are just a divine, a divine partnership of two beverages. Um, literally, a tiny, like tiny bit of Baileys in a glass, and then top it up the rest of it with top chocolate milk, um, like like a fridge or a yazoo or like just your tesco's own if you really want chocolate milk it just is the best combination of drinks ever um and that's just with normal baileys but then when i brought this home because obviously they didn't have any normal baileys so i ended up picking up the chocolate lux made with real belgium chocolate um i found that it was even more indulgent than before um, so yeah, this camera is the D3200 uh, Nikon, um, and obviously I found more and more as I tried to vlog with it that it was just ridiculous to hold in front of my face and film, um, because it is such a large camera, like literally it is, it fits in this, this leather case. So I imagine me walking around like this with a massive camera, obviously with not just a hollow piece of leather but actually heavy camera so i decided that if i was going to actually do outside vlogging where i take you guys along with me places i would need a little compact item so i went for another nikon because since having this one i like i like nikon obviously you get into a brand that you like um, I've had this conversation with my boyfriend all the fucking time because he prefers canon um, but that's just our personal preferences, so obviously I'm, I just bought another Nikon. Um, so I had that, um, and obviously it didn't come, it wasn't quite right, so I've sent it off. Um, so that means that, long story short, because I've just rambled a hell of a lot, just to tell you that most of the vlogmas is probably just going to be sat down videos because I don't have a camera to actually vlog with because I just sent it back to be repaired. Sorry that there have been a lack of videos, hopefully I'm gonna generally get more on board with it now as well. Um, not, not discounting vlogmas because obviously I'm aiming to put a video up every single day um, but other, outside of vlogmas I am going to be more on board with this and I'm probably going to sit down with myself think out a plan because at the moment I just upload as and when but what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to make up a plan um, decide on a day of the week and decide on a time in the evening by which all my video like the video will be live at so that rather than it just randomly going up at the middle of the night or in the middle of the day in the middle of the week randomly no schedule at all hopefully they'll be outside of vlog outside of vlogmas they'll be up weekly on whatever day i decide and on at like it's probably gonna be like seven or eight o'clock that they go live on youtube um in the evening which would be lovely actually if i could get my ass in gear enough to be able to say yes i'm going to upload every blur whatever day and it's going to go up at 8 p.m like great british time um but yeah hopefully that's the plan i feel like i've probably bitten off more than i can chew but hey it's christmas we've got to give these things a go um, so that is everything from me today if you liked this video please press the thumbs up button and if you want to see more of this kind of thing subscribe I will see you tomorrow for the next day of vlogmas and 